You know, the YouTube Shorts thing is just something I don't understand. I've made a few shorts, and I had some decent success with them in years past. But it's gotten to the point where when I try to make a YouTube short that I really put some effort into, I try to make sure it's filmed well, the lighting's good, it's cut and put together well. Those don't get hardly any views. But my brother films a short on his potato of a phone of us doing a powder test, an open air burn test on the ground. And that gets 1.6 million views in a week. Why? I have no idea. Now, one of the things I could tell you about uh, viral shorts, I suppose you could call them, is uh, when you get that amount of views in that short of a time, you're going to get a lot of comments. A lot of comments. Hundreds of comments. Probably about stuff that isn't related to what you're doing in the video. For example, I've had hundreds of comments asking, what the hell is going on? What are you even doing? Now, even though the title of the video, I suppose, might be a little vague to someone who isn't familiar with what we do here at Everything Black Powder, even though you could see that the channel's name is Everything Black Powder, that's beside the point. There are a bunch of people that apparently don't know that that is black powder. For example, I've gotten, I don't know how many comments from people that say things like, yeah, man, you could mill paper long enough and it just does that. It'll just light off like that. Okay, I'll take your word for it. But apparently, I've been doing it wrong. You don't need nitrate. You don't need sulfates. You don't need any of that stuff for black powder. Apparently, you just throw toilet paper in your ball mill and mill it for three days and it turns into black powder. It just lights off like that, expels heat, energy, and gas, and you don't need potassium nitrate or any of that other stuff. So, you know, learn something new every day. Another thing that I just got so many comments on is uh, me abusing my pocket knife. Now, I call this a pocket knife, but really what it is is a pry bar, gasket scraper, chisel, and screwdriver combination tool. And I use it as such. If I had known that uh, this stupid short was going to get a million views in a week, I might have uh, done things a little differently. And one of the things you can see me do here is using the sharp edge to strike that rod to get the thing to flash off. This is not sharp. It, it's not sharp. It hasn't been sharp since 20 minutes after I got it. Now, my friend Lenny, who is a pocket knife enthusiast, so I should have known that these people exist, are really upset that I would use my knife in such a disrespectful manner. But again, this is a tool to me. I've had more pocket knives than I can count. I've, I bought Kershaw's for years. I have a drawer full of Kershaw's with the tip broken off. This is a cold steel range boss. I think it's about a $45 knife. That's not a knife. If I need a knife, especially a sharp knife, I'm gonna use something like this. That's a knife. The one I carry on me right here in my pocket, that's just uh, basically a, a metal stick that I use to poke things. If there's any new people out there from this short that might be watching this video, welcome aboard. We make black powder. That's what we do. That's our thing is black powder firearms and black powder stuff, I suppose. So uh, if you think that uh, we just do science experiments where we take paper and mill it for a long time to see what happens, that's not it, just so we're all on the same page. Now, in the description of this video, it says, I'll read it to you. Black powder made from cottonelle toilet paper charcoal milled for 72 hours. I know people don't generally read the description of videos and I, I'm aware of that, but if you're gonna go through the trouble to watch it and then hammer out a comment asking what the hell is going on, just why don't you try looking at the description? You, you might find a little bit more information there. Just, just a thought. I don't know why the algorithm allows this kind of stuff to happen. I don't know what about that particular goofy short 
YouTube thought was worthy of showing to 1.6 million people. I, I have no idea. The only reason why we even posted it is I've gotten a bunch of comments from people wanting to see 72 hour mill Cottonelle black powder, which we have made and we have tested at the time that I'm filming this right now. So I just wanted to show my subscribers and viewers that, hey, we've made it. Here it is. We're testing it. It's going to come up in a couple weeks. I don't know why YouTube decided to show that to 1.6 million people. It's not that interesting to most people, but apparently YouTube feels otherwise. I can't make heads or tails out of how the algorithm works. Sometimes you put up a video, then it just goes. Other times you put up a video that it's, and it's usually like this. The ones you spend the most amount of time and energy on, those are the ones that don't do so well. The ones you throw together in 20 minutes, those are the ones that seem to do well. And why? I don't have any idea. I, and it doesn't really matter, I guess. Who, who cares? I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining that I'm getting views and all of this stuff. Views are fine. Subscribers are fine too. Uh, but not really when it comes to shorts. The whole short thing in my experience is, and I'm generalizing things just based on the numbers in my analytics. The people that watch shorts don't watch long form content videos. And so even though this goofy short that we put up, we've gained 1,800 subscribers or whatever in the last five days, just based purely on the numbers out of those 1,800 subscribers, maybe 500 of them will watch long form content. Uh, it's pretty difficult to make videos on antique muzzle loading propellant where we make it, describe it, test it, go over all the data in a 60 second short. And I'm not even going to attempt that. So that was a really long way of saying that the people that watch shorts don't usually watch the full length videos. So you could have a bunch of subscribers. I think we are at 110 or 111,000 subscribers as of right now. But subscribers don't really mean much if they don't watch your videos. Now, I am not a professional YouTube. Well, no, technically I'm a professional YouTuber because I do make money off the ad revenue. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I am not a full-time YouTuber. This is not what I do for a living. And while I do make some money at this, trust me, it's not nearly as much as people think. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. I'm not about to quit my job, sell my business, and become a full-time YouTuber. And even if I was making what I would think would be a livable wage off of YouTube, I still would never do that because we've seen for years that YouTube changes their policy arbitrarily and retroactively. You could have a video five, 10 years old where all of a sudden that's not okay anymore. And they'll give you a strike and another strike and they could take your channel right off and you won't earn any money ever again on YouTube. So even if I ever got to the point where I was making real money, I wouldn't do it because I don't trust them sons of bitches. And uh, I enjoy being self-employed. Uh, once upon a time, I worked for the county. I worked for the sheriff's department. And I don't want to say I hated every second of it, but I really didn't enjoy it. And I quit that job and I went into business for myself and I've been completely happy doing that ever since. I enjoy being self-employed. Personally, I think everyone should give it a try. But I'm not about to become a full-time YouTuber. Hopefully my normal and regular viewers will notice and appreciate that I don't do advertisements. I don't run commercials other than the ads that YouTube puts on here. And trust me, if I wanted to, I could, because I get emails every day from these outfits wanting to hawk all kinds of goofy shit, accessories, clothes, night vision, you name it. And I'm not about to do that. And I don't mean to sound like I'm knocking on anybody that does. I understand everyone's got to earn a living. And if you do YouTube stuff for a living, good for you. It's just not my bag and I'm not interested in that. Where's I going with all that? Was there some moral to the story? Was that relevant in some way?
I don't remember. What were we talking about? YouTube shorts. Right. So, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know how. But, you know, sometimes one of those shorts just goes to the moon. And it's usually one that doesn't even come close to deserving it. And in this case, that's, I think, exactly what's going on. Deserves got nothing to do with it. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button. Consider subscribing. And if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.